uh, computer users uh, out there that are quite naive about uh, computers and uh, viruses. Uh, the most common infection uh, lately for uh, people is, scare, is called Scareware. And what the Scareware does is it installs a file that uh, has a script inside of it that uh, instructs the computer to produce a warning uh, saying that you are, you are infected with uh, viruses or errors in your computer. Uh, and what it'll do is it'll have a box on your uh, screen and it'll say this computer has uh, 10 infections uh, click OK or um, something like that as an example uh, now when you click OK what's going to happen is another box is going to open and either uh, a fake antivirus that essentially does nothing for your computer will install and will cause you to have even more problems. It may even disable uh, your ability to open a web browser. Um, if that happens, the, the best thing to do is boot up in safe mode by restarting your computer. If you cannot restart it by uh, using the start menu if you're on Windows, you can always hit the reset button on your tower and then pressing F8 during the boot up and you'll get a screen that says safe mode um, and then when you get to that screen you can choose safe mode with networking what this will do is allow your computer to only load up um, essential Windows services and it will also allow you access to the internet you can then download malware uh, Bytes Anti-Malware which is a free tool uh, that you can download and I'll put a link in the de video description and what you do then is run a full system scan this tool will then scan your entire computer for any infections it will also remove them for free it's not like some other um, tools you can download where it claims to be free but then when you get to the end and then it wants you to pay uh, for a subscription to the program in order to remove the virus. Um, it is highly recommended for removing scareware and other types of uh, malware uh, trojans and viruses. Now you may not necessarily need to boot up in safe mode. Um, you may be able, if you can still access your web browser, you can easily download malware, uh, Bytes anti-malware, and install it on your computer. At the end of the installation, it's going to ask you if you want to update the database uh, uh, for infections, and it'll also ask you if you want to launch the program. So when you uh, click OK or Finish, it'll open the program, and it will first update, and then open the actual program and then again you run a full system scan and it will remove all infections uh, completely for free no subscription no money required um, so if you ever run into a pop-up like that on your screen uh, that indicates that you have uh, um, viruses or infections or uh, registry errors this is one simple way you can get rid of it uh, if you need any further help with this uh, please uh, feel free to ask comments or ask questions in the comment section of this video um, the only other thing I can recommend is that uh, if you do get any of those windows the best thing to do is press Control alt delete which will open your task manager and then find the uh, running window and end the process. Uh, usually uh, it will be quite easy to locate in your task manager. Um, either it will be under the tasks or processes. If it's in your processes it may be name something like um, XP antivirus which is one of the most common fake antiviruses out there that is just um, written to 
scam you out of your own money. Anyways, uh, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the video comment section. And uh, if you've never run into anything like this, well, this video may help you if you ever do. Thanks for watching. Bye.